All right, uh, welcome to Horse and Ten. And uh, if you're watching this, you're probably wondering, like we are, how this great, great wall is going to be built by Donald Trump. Uh, this is our off-season uh, pre-NFL draft special. I'm Ray Jolly. This is Keith Shutt and Daniel Giannis. Yes, because he's in prep. <laughs> yeah, you're already in mid-season four. Yeah, yep. Gaines. Yes. And uh, we're just going to, with a little preseason, after season uh, filler, just to uh, cover some stuff and before the season starts. So, uh, talk about some off season moves that happened uh, after last season. Uh, Pete Manning retired. You saw that coming. Yeah. yeah. Everyone saw that coming. Did not have a, a great season at all. Disappointed a lot of fancy players. You got another ring. You guys have them on your team, anyone? No? I might. You might have? I might have. Yeah. He, uh, he disappointed a lot of people. Uh, Brock Osweiler uh, left Denver. Yeah. He shocked a lot of people. Yeah. Went one. to the Texans, which I think is good for the Texans. Yeah. Going to help Texas out a lot. Going to help out Hopkins a lot, I think. I think so. Going to elevate his fantasy level quite a bit for players, <laughs> uh, for fantasy players next season. Uh, DeMarco Murray, who had a horrible fucking season. Last year, and we saw. Uh, we go, didn't, didn't we kind of see that coming before the season we, started? We thought yeah, he was yeah, going to be all predicted. Uh, no, a lot of people took him in the first round. Thought he was going to be good in Philly. Uh, uh, goes to Tennessee, so we'll I see. think that helps out his stock a yeah. little bit. Although they already have a stable of running backs, yeah. but does that help Demarco Murray out? <sighs> still, I draft don't think him? so. I don't, I, I'm still I not going to draft. Him. I would, no, I wouldn't. Well, you draft him as your third running back. Yeah. Third running back, yeah. Maybe late. Late. RG3 moves to Cleveland. That's that's huge. That's a big yeah. move for Cleveland. Cleveland now says they like RG3 and they're not going to draft a quarterback in the first round. They're drafting number two. They do say they're going to draft a quarterback, but it'll be later. And you know, I really think you give RG3 a shot because I think yeah. now, I mean, he, I think he got a bad a bad deal in Washington. I mean, they really yeah. They, they shit, didn't like. They, they didn't like the guy. They shit canned him, and I think now he finally has the franchise. He's the franchise guy. You have to assume he's going to make uh, Travis Benjamin probably even better than what he was last yep. year. And they lose uh, Josh Gordon probably, huh. possibly huh. for the year again. Got caught smoking pot uh, as of today. Well, um, he didn't get caught two, smoking. Well, it, it was, another bad test yeah. uh, three weeks ago probably. So I mean. Jesus, this guy cannot get off the the yeah, pod. A lot of losers there coming out of Cleveland. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no shit. So uh, they've got to draft wide receivers. Yeah, bad. That's probably where they're gonna go. So uh, Calvin Johnson retires. That happened a while ago. That's a big hit for uh, Detroit. Yeah. But Lions, this is what the Lions do. Uh, they sign Marvin Jones. And they draft with Juan Trevor. <laughs> yeah, they're going to have to yeah. if 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 they if he falls to them. But Marvin Jones, I don't know if that plugs that hole. Oh, it doesn't. We, Marvin Jones has some flashes of brilliance. He two years ago he had some amazing games, but last year he really didn't do much of anything. So is that a fix there? No, it's a band aid. So, yeah, yeah, a band aid. On a dam break, you that's draft, another team that's going to have to draft wide receivers. You draft the Quan Treadwell, tread well yeah. and you'll you'll make that. Fast. And this is an NFL draft that is not rich in uh, wide receivers. This is not a good wide receiver draft, I've heard. Uh, Callum Kaepernick, uh, a lot in news and off season. Uh, you got San Francisco, <coughs> Daniel. You had you you got one guy who doesn't even. That. I mean, they're already Chip Kelly and the GM are already fighting. What a surprise! Um, but you got one guy who wants him. You got the other guy who doesn't. So we don't know at this hour. Colin Kaepernick is not going to be in San Francisco, and you don't know where he'll land by the time our uh, first preseason show starts. I'll tell you what, I don't want Colin Kaepernick on my fantasy football team. Oh no! You know? No, he screwed me the last like. So Reed, do you think he he's got a rebound in him? I mean, oh, I, I think he does. I. I loved him. Uh, his rookie season. Yeah, I his think his second season. season. Last season, he he was dog shit. I think he's degraded ever since his rookie. Man, season. I think I think he's still got to come back in him. I think he's got a shot. And and you know, back at RG three, I'll take RG three every day as my number two quarterback. Yeah. I think 
if he can stay healthy, if he can yeah. show flashes of what he did uh, early in, in Washington, yeah, no, he can get you to where you I'd need agree to go. With you on that. And uh, last bit of news, everyone knows, of course, uh, just yesterday, you know, Rams trade up to the number one pick in the draft to take what we expect, of course, will be one of the top quarterbacks. Yeah. So that's huge news. So what do you think about that? They give up a lot of picks. So I think they have to do it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a I it's a great they need, business. They need somebody move. to focus a focal point around Todd Gurley. They need somebody. Todd Gurley's going to be your guy. And if they're well, hopefully draft someone to hand the ball off to Todd yeah, Gurley. Want somebody, well, somebody good at doing a play action because that's what they're going to probably incorporate. With but, Todd Gurley getting a lot of carries. Is, it'll know. be it'll be a sh- you, you need to. It'd be a shame to throw a young kid out there too early and and, and wreck his career. Yeah. It'd be nice if he could sit for a while, but but it's a, it's a great PR move. They moved to LA. It's a great to have a new face on the franchise. How about I t- like that part. How about St. Louis losing two NFL franchises? In oh, years? I know. <laughs> the Ferguson Rams are no more. Yeah. Too bad. But uh, what the, if you watch the draft uh, coming up in two weeks? Every seven minutes, you're going to hear Tennessee is on the clock. They have so many picks, it's going to be ridiculous. Uh, oh, I also want to say, uh, end of the season, uh, I did win my championship. Uh, my trophy. After how many years? Uh, I don't even know. 20. Forever. Yeah, close to 20. 20. Uh, this is the trophy. And then Keith won last year, but he always, he always forgets to bring his. Yeah. So if I don't you're bloat. if you're yeah, <laughs> I do. So I finally won. So if you're watching, hopefully you're winning because we do give good advice. Except they, these two apparently don't take it to their own advice. Uh, I only won because I trade raped him, his yeah, team. I wasn't even part of that trade rape. Like I got roofied and passed and passed out. You trade raped. <laughs> trade raped the other. And owner. Daniel trade raped his own team. On like the pa- worst trade ever. <laughs> on paper, that was a great trade. Oh my god! If Aaron Foster on doesn't paper. go down, Mr. Glass. On, on paper, <laughs> on paper, I'm a millionaire because I can write zeros down. When he made that trade, he looked in the mirror and said, "It puts a lotion on its skin, yeah. also gets a hose again." And then he... <laughs> in the mirror, he said, "This is a great trade. I'm a good person." Oh, All right. Oh, NFL draft coming up in two weeks. Uh, we'll just touch on our teams. The Bills pick 19. Uh, I'm hoping for a, a great defensive end to fill in Mario Williams or a linebacker. And then I think... Yeah, the Chiefs pick what? 28th. 28th. Yeah. And then we're definitely going to take a quarterback late. I'm hoping for Cardell Jones or something nice late mm-hmm. as a contingency plan. But the Chiefs, yeah, pick 28th. <clears throat> what are you guys uh, shooting for? Uh, I think we almost need another wide receiver. Well, I'd like to see them go wide receiver. I don't yep. know. You guys if they took will. wide receiver last year in third round, second round, third round? Yeah. Chris yeah, was, Connolly, right? Yes. Yeah. And Not, he got some playing time. But did he? Yeah. At the end of the year. Actually, in the playoffs, somebody started. Yep. Yeah. Time. And you lost a third round pick uh, this year <laughs> for tampering with Jeremy Macklin. You know, that's just a bad, that's the bad luck. You know, they don't. That's not bad there. luck. I, I, that's like you, getting caught. you I know. don't call like, your wide receiver on the phone and be like, hey, any interest in coming to my new team? I that's, that's, with? that's pulling a Patriot move. That's, that's uh, what that is. If that was a Patriot move, he'd have, he'd have got off. He kept the mouth shut. Yeah. Well, Deflated some balls. Yeah. New England got off it. Yeah. Well, New England's got more money. They didn't get caught. Shit. So... Draft coming up, and we'll talk more about that after the draft. Hey, Reed, how do you spell Chiefs? <laughs> Chefs. C H E I F. Hey, when we write stuff, it has auto spell. These are my notes. You have your own notes. Uh, I kind of spell them in there. Well, who's grading notes? All right, uh, last year's rookie wide receivers <laughs> was one of the worst class of wide receivers in fantasy. And you Absolutely. said this year is going to be that much better. No, I don't. I, <laughs> I think know, it's that's terrible. What I'm yeah. So last year, uh, Amari Cooper was the only uh, good wide receiver. Had over a thousand yards. I think six touchdowns. 
Yeah, I mean, there were some, some people drafted in mid rounds. There were some flashes of brilliance from some of the others. Some flashes late, and you picked up uh, Tyler late off, Yeah, free agency. But, but nobody really had over 500, 600 yards. Right. Right. So this year, those guys will be sophomores. Of any of those, who do you guys think could have a great sophomore year? Kevin. And they say sophomore slump, but let's let's look for a good sophomore. This is year. sophomore jump. All right, sophomore I, jump. I said like, Kevin White. Bears. Kevin White, who didn't play at all. No, he had a lot of injuries. Um, but if he shows any of his college <laughs> skill set, he's going to be rocking at number two spot. Without Alshon Jeffrey on the other side, he's going to be taking most of the, the number one DBs away from yep. him. So I think uh, Kevin White's probably going to be, I'd say, I'm, I'm going to throw it out there, a thousand yard receiver this year. <laughs> Kevin White. Yeah. Well, practically, it'll be his rookie year. Practically. Yeah. But he hasn't been on the field. All right. I think Amari Cooper is going to be even better. Amari Cooper again. I, oh, yeah. thousand, I agree. I think Amari Cooper he, is going to be solid with David Carr yeah, in the same Carr's, system. Absolutely, he's going with to be Crabtree resign mm-hmm. to another contract and extension. I like it. Uh, I like Tyler Lockett. Mm-hmm. He had uh, a great uh, in the season with the Seahawks, mm-hmm. and Doral Green Becca started to come on strong yeah. with the Titans. And the Titans have uh, 11 deep picks in this draft. Uh, they're going to do nothing but just put people around them to make that team yeah. better. Yeah. So I think there could be some good uh, good sophomores in this draft for wide receiver. Right. So as of today, knowing what we know from last year and our draft board and how we drafted and who – who came up out of nowhere and who had a great year? Who had a great year late that we picked up from a free agency? Who jumps up onto your board if we're drafting today, this year, uh, into the first round? Would be a first round pick. I think all three of us know who that is. Oh, yeah. You can go with, you can go with what you, we already mentioned him a little bit when we were talking about the Rams. But. But yeah, uh, Todd, Todd Gurley. Todd Gurley's no brainer yeah. first round. He's, yeah, jumps he's a first up there. I also like, I know that. Uh, he had a meltdown during the Super Bowl, but Cam Newton wasn't really drafted in any first round. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Cam Newton would probably be a first round uh, quarterback. Allen Robertson. Robinson yeah. was receiver for the Jaguars. Allen Robertson so, was incredible. I mean, he probably pulled that team year. Yeah. further than anything else on that team. So. Yeah, and he, uh, he got me the championship for sure. DeAndre like, Hopkins. DeAndre Hopkins. Especially yes. now with a top Rock. three yeah. wide receiver. With mediocre uh, quarterback play for sure, and yeah. multiple quarterbacks coming in and out, yeah. and now he's going to have Brock Osweiler, yeah. which I think is a definite upgrade. Uh, I think yeah. Hopkins is going to have a great year. Idea. I like Thomas yeah. Rawls. I think he is going to be a workhorse, super talented. Uh, I think Lynch is you think he's is going to retire. I I think so. I think it's just. Uh, getting a paycheck and 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 just still collecting a, a check from Skittles for the endorsements. I think he's eventually going to retire. Yeah. So. David Johnson. Oh, hey, David Johnson. Good. good call. Cardinals, great running back, workhorse. A, a, another great guy that's going to have a great sophomore year. Well, I don't have him as a first rounder, but Marcus Mariota. I mean, Ooh, yeah. Up. With that class of definitely a quarterback have. probably went undrafted in all fantasy leagues is definitely in the conversation, moving up into maybe late to mid rounds, mm-hmm. for sure. It's a good backup for. Well, would you put him as a starter? Uh, uh after a couple of weeks, I could. Yeah, yeah. I his, Look what happens after, if yeah. you, especially if you take him a little. Because he had some good weeks in fantasy where he beat out a lot of people. He did. Especially daily fantasy. I know you guys aren't. Yeah. Big I'd rather like that. Yeah. Daily fantasy. Yeah. Football games don't play once a week. What does that mean? Well, that's our show for our midseason. Uh, fill in. Uh, I'll shave next time. I'm yeah. pretty rough right now. And I'm freaking. <laughs> uh, at yeah. least upstairs he will. He's married. He doesn't shave down there. Daniel and I do, though. Just so you know, ladies who watch the show. I still get more action when I'm married. Yeah. Guys. 
which <laughs> means Daniel and I never get laid. Thanks so much. Uh, feel free to email us. We've changed our email. It is now worstin10 at gmail.com. Send us any of your questions uh, for our show coming up. Our first show will be August Wednesday, August 10th, uh, right after the Hall of Fame game. And uh, thanks for watching. All right. See you guys soon. See you guys.